sure you enjoyed the visit to the water hole. Sounds like quite a few impala and quite often you have that many impala around you can get a little bit of action between them as well. We're just here on Central Road. I'm actually going to slowly head back. Head back towards Gauri Waterhall as well. Come past there, have a look around from the vehicle side. And then just see what the rest of the morning leaves. Tour before we get to Gauri Wartol. Take Kaina Road. It's been a road that's been in the back of my head for some reason the whole morning. Entertaining track this to drive, as you can see, or well, notice probably it's very, very bumpy and bouncy. It doesn't get used that often. It's got a whole lot of places that if you drive here the wrong time after big rains, you're going to be spending some time in one place. Get yourself stuck. Very bumpy. And we've had good luck with elephants here quite a few times, so that's why I'm mainly why I thought to try it. But no tracks, so no signs. Of Unless we just find a surprise elephant, I don't think we're going to find any here today. And this is also a fantastic tree. I've looked at it a few times before, but just with that nice blue background, it's quite cool. And as Rob's showing you there, some vultures also high up there. 
not going anywhere specific. I think they're just riding the thermals. It's been cool for quite a few days. It means your bigger vulture species, especially like the white-faced vulture, wouldn't have been that active. They would rather just sit and wait out the weather. Today's getting nice and warm. So lots of thermals that they can ride. It saves them energy. They don't have to use their wings too much for clapping or flapping. Flapping, I guess, rather. So this makes it easier for them to gain good altitude and then they'll cover massive areas tens and hundreds of kilometers if need be in radius looking for something to scavenge on great feeling that have eyesight to that bird where it is flying now difficult to say but probably 300 400 meters up would be able to read the print on a newspaper or a magazine if we had one in the car here so imagine the detail they can see from that height and to be able to just effortlessly almost just glide around. I think I wouldn't mind being a vulture for a few days. <laughs> and also, <laughs> they can digest anything. They could probably live on fast food for a year and they'll still be fine but incredibly strong stomach acids to digest the kind of rotten food they eat most of the time.